Hi, I'm James Crossley, and this is how I build my body. I started building this gym during lockdown, and initially all I had was this log, which I brought over from a common, and I built slowly, bit by bit. Most of the equipment here I've got from eBay, Facebook, or gyms that are just selling off gear, and I'm kind of quite happy with how it's finished off. Very important to me, I've been training 35 years, so it's not just about the physical part of training, but also the mental health. Today I'm gonna to train legs, and these are my training partners. Warm-up's really important to me, especially as I got older. I like to make sure I do 15 to 20 minutes proper warm-up, get the joints and the muscles ready for exercise. I always like to activate the rotator cuffs. Using a band here, keeping the tension on the band, elbows in, just going round the clock with the left hand. Hinge point, the movement's coming from the shoulder. Last warm up exercise is box jumps, fire up the CNS, explosive power. Exercise one is gonna be box squats. Now I tend to change the rep range around, first exercise heavy, second medium hypertrophy, third a little bit higher reps. Box squats are one of my favorite exercises. They really help with your form, good posterior chain exercises, more muscle recruitment, and also if you're training on your own, it's very, very safe. Bar engaged, pulling down onto the traps, feet pointing out slightly, core tight. Brakes on the way down, nice slow eccentric onto the box. Now imagine the box is made of glass, so you're just perching on it, say 50% of your weight, and then explosive on the way up. Ready for the first working set now. I've added chains, which is gonna alter the strength curve, making it heavier for the concentric part of the lift when I come up, which is great for explosive power. I'm gonna go for five sets, three reps. Let's go. Exercise number two, Zercher squats. Four sets, eight to 10 reps. Great exercise to replicate stone lifting, no spine load, excellent for the quads. We're gonna start in a sumo squat position. Take the bar up, lap it, reposition. Exercise number three is single leg step up. It's really important to do some unilateral work in your program. You've always got one leg slightly stronger than the other. It's a really good way to even things out. Higher reps on here, I'm gonna go for three sets of 12 to 15. Tips, I imagine there's rice paper on the floor, so I'm just touching it as softly as I can. All the power on the drive wants to be on that front leg, slowly down on the eccentric, the lowering. Cardio time. Now I've never been one to do conventional cardio, so I'm gonna do a shield carry. Great exercise, working the core, back, grip, legs, but most importantly, the heart and the lungs. If you haven't got a shield, just use any type of front loading object, whether it's a bag, a weight, a tree trunk. Last exercise for today. I always like to finish on some kind of awkward lift, whether it be a stone, sandbag, or today we're gonna to try the inch dumbbell. Just two sets, working on grip and a little bit of cardio from squats. That's the weight's over, but I always finish on 15 to 20 minutes stretching. As I've got older, I found it really important for a pain-free body, for flexibility, mobility. I just hold these stretches, do a few inversions, a little bit of yoga. Great way to finish any workout.
So that's it, workout over. Hard work, commitment, consistency, and have a plan. And that's how I built my body. <laughs>